Hey, you welcome back. We're back in Timberborn, and today we're going to finish up our system here for getting rid of the bad water. We've got a couple of other things to do as well, but we're going to start with building out this trench just a little bit more. We've got dynamite there to take care of. We've got dynamite here to take care of and a whole bunch more to lay. Let's see if we can toss in. There we go. We'll put one in there, one in there. We need to get all of those in. So let's let's get those. And then crossed here, crossed here. There we go. Grab the path. Come on out. Out. And there we go. We'll say all of that is very important. There we go. Those can be a little more important as well. So they can work on that. We've definitely got enough builders. They ought to be able to do that pretty quickly. While they're over there working on all that dynamite, I am going to see if we can extend our power project out just a little more. Come across here. I don't think I need them on top of that. We'll come around here. We'll let them build that for now. They should have plenty to build still. First layer of dynamite's already in, so let's go ahead and take that out. Remove all this. Remove all this. There we go. We've got those in. We'll toss in one more here. And then I think... Oh, we still got to get a way to get over there, don't we? Let's go ahead. We'll just get a platform here, a platform here. And we'll keep an eye and see if this will be enough to get rid of all of the bad water. If it is, we'll build this up on the side to make it look a little better. If it's not, then we'll figure it out and get some more dynamite in there. Well, they got those up there really quickly, so let's go ahead and just keep on going with the actual windmills here. There we go. Coming across all the way around. Uh, well... That'll do for now, and then we'll just put the power in. There we go. All of that can go in. All of that can go in. And we'll leave the power there for now. We're eventually going to go all the way around, but I want to make sure I have the resources for everything first. The last of the dynamite over here is in, so that should secure the bad water path out. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Let's do a couple more here. There we go. That'll be good. Now let's start working on seeing if we can get this one hooked up over here. And we're just going to have to take another long, I think, another long trench down there. Now, first of all, let's fill in these holes. Those are kind of annoying. We wouldn't want any beavers just randomly falling in them, right? There we go. How to get that tree out of there? I guess we could dynamite down and go and get it, but for now it's okay. We're going to take some dynamite here, though. Let's see. Actually, I'd like to get rid of these trees. They're kind of in the way, and just in case I need to change some stuff out here, let's go something like that, and... That can go over there. And that should give us access to all of these. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. All right. There we go. They'll make that up and clear this out. And then we'll come back and see if we can start laying the dynamite around the edge here. I don't think we're going to need these floodgates anymore. So I'm going to take those out. I'm going to take this out as well. And then I'm going to start on my plan for getting the water from this side over to this side past our uh, trench here. The way I'm going to do that is we're going to use this mod that gives us underground pipes. So if I were to say put a pipe here, it would come out on the other side over there. Which is kind of what we want. However, we're going to have to find a way around, it looks like. Let's see. How about we move some of these 
over to here. And then we're going to just toss in a nice one of those. There we go. That should connect us. Then we can get rid of these up here once those are in. Seeing we're having some problems keeping up with the planks again. So to get around that, I think I'm going to put a couple of plank factories here out on the water, which of course is going to cost us more planks. But hopefully that at least gives us a heads up on how much we're going to need. Let's put in some there. And we'll do something like this. Let's grab the plank factories there. There we go. Our nice lumber mills. This can come across here. There we go. And we'll let them build that. And they should be set for... Oh, they're not. Let's set them for our bots. I haven't gone to the main district yet to change that over so it defaults to bots. But we'll get back there eventually. Let's say this is slightly more important than anything else. Well, they got this part done, so we're all connected up there. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Let's see if we can get in a couple of these underground pipe systems. I'm going to grab that. There is the... Nope, that's the regular ones. We want the underground ones. There we go. We're going to do one... Two, and it looks like we're going to need some dynamite in here for the third. So I'm just going to dynamite this whole area out. Then we're going to have to find a way to get power over to these. And I'm thinking we can just come off of right here. If I take that out, replace it with this. Let's make sure they do that first off, though. And then we're going to come out, get a couple of platforms here. There's a platform. There's one. Actually, no, I need that to be one shorter. Because we're going to take and move the power down one level. There we go. Now, to get the power across here, we're going to need to make something else. Which, let's see. Should be that. And they updated our... Bridges and tunnels, and even the flywheels. Flywheels, I don't think we'll be able to use in this playthrough. I definitely could, but I've already got a battery solution that seems to be working and is very much a big feature of the map, so we probably won't need them. But the bridges here could definitely go in. Let's see. Oh, they've got the dynamite in. Let's get that out of there. Let's see if we can grab a bridge here that's the right size. Uh, nope, I need one less than that. So there we go. And what that'll do is, without anything underneath it, it will bridge the gap for power all the way over to here. We can then take a nice four-way intersection, go there. But I'm going to pause that because I would like the power to come up this way. And we'll go over this way one. There we go. And then we'll have to put in one more. Oh, no, wait. I want a third one. Let's get a third one in here. There we go. I don't know how much water these move. In fact, did I put in the low instead of the high power ones? I feel like I might have. I did. I put in the, the low power ones. I don't want the low power ones. We want all of the water out of there that we can possibly get. So we're going to do this and this. And remove that. We have some extra materials. We'll be okay. And then that should start pumping water out into this the entire bad tide. Our toxic trench seems to be working. It's got a very fast flow. It's too bad I can't currently use that for power. I could probably put a wheel down here or something to grab a little power, but I think with all the windmills that we have, we probably don't need it, and we can just leave it alone. We've got a little problem here with some of the bad tide coming out this way. I could probably slightly reroute the water, but I think we're just going to 
maybe block some of this off. I don't think I need to take out those. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't, other than this one. But we'll let them work on that for a second, and I will find the landscaping. There it is, our barrier. Now let's go ahead and get those in. They've got all those in, and that should give us this area back at least. We might have to move this out one so that we can get another one of those in. Let's just... We'll wait until they get those in, and we'll see what they have. I'm going to go ahead and start making the trench around this side. We're going to stick with some of the landscaping here. We're just going to come through and put one pretty much along this ridge right here. We're di going to dig down just as deep as we can possibly get it. Hopefully, that keeps the little beavers safe. Or at least keeps them out of mischief so we don't have to worry about them getting in bad water anymore. We've got one more after this one to put the trench in for as well. So we'll get this one in first. We'll do one at a time and see where we can or see see what troubles we come into with this first. We're going to go there. We're going to have to move that ladder, though. We've got our underground pipes in and they work wonderfully to fill this area back up so as we get more of the trench in we should still be able to keep most of this outer area uh, in water which is really the goal we can then set up some more stuff around the edges here if we want to we shouldn't have to worry too much about this giant river of bad water they've got most of the dynamite in here so let's take a look there it all goes. We've got more to detonate in here. They need just a, a quick hotkey for detonate. That would be great. Just like a big red button just for dynamite. They've got it on the... Oops, I missed one. They've got it on the interface window here. It'd be nice just to have a hotkey for it. Or just to be able to hotkey it, I guess. Let's see. We're going to need... We're going to need these out of here as well, aren't we? Yep. We're going to actually have to get to the trench. So let's take those out of there. We're going to grab, let's see, let's grab the ladder here. And this will get them down in there. I guess I could just go this way. Yeah, that might be the smarter move. There we go. Now they can start cleaning out the rest of this, and we'll come back through and toss in more dynamite. There we go. All in here, all in here. Hey, they got that one done. All right. All of this. All of that. I probably don't need to use triples here, but I'm just going to do it for the bigger explosion. Why not? We have the resources. We will use them as we see fit, right? There we go. We'll let them fill that trench back up as well. It looks like some of the corruption is still sneaking through there. So let's go ahead, redo that. I'm going to have to move the ladder out one. We'll put one of these down. There we go. And then we'll put a platform on top of it. And that will give them basically... The same thing, but now they should be protected from all the bad water that's coming through there. So they've managed to get another line in our trench in. So we'll go ahead, knock those out of here real quick. Get all these detonated, all those. We're definitely going to have to come back in here and do this one. In fact, we might just go ahead and bite the bullet, get that out of there for now. We'll say that's very important while we go ahead and get this whole trench taken care of. Those are mostly gone. These are gone. That's all gone. There's this. These. Ah, oh, you don't realize how many uh, different levels there are in some of these until you start blowing them all up. There we go. 
All right, how many of these are at zero? That's at one, so we can go ahead and toss a one there. But I think a lot of those... Oh, there's another one. Is that completely empty? That's at seven, so... Uh, do I need to get rid of that? No. That's not actually part of the trench. That's a height one, so let's get rid of those. Get rid of... Uh, well, can't get rid of that, but we can get rid of this too. There we go. We'll let them fill that in. I think that cut off a large portion of the map over here. But that's okay. They just need to get those in. Then we'll tell them... Actually, let's do... Let's set up for what we need to get them to place there real quick. We'll get... Ladders. There we go. Oh, they've got one in. And then... They need another one. Three. That'll work just fine. There we go. That's all in there. And then we're going to take and make a nice little bridge here. Let's see. One bridge right out to that ladder. And that should do just fine. That gets rid of those for us. Are these just ones? No, those are twos. Let's get the right ones in there. There we go. That will get rid of all of those. That gets rid of all of this. That cleans out this. These are already put in because our beavers are working pretty quickly here. Now we just have to get the river diverted over here. We should probably blow up the entryway first though. So we'll work on that and then come back. There we go over here at the exit or the entrance depending on how you're looking at it. They've got all the dynamite in, so we're going to take that out, and then we're going to take this out. Remove those. Now, it'll start flowing this way for just a bit, but we should also be able to blow this up. And it will start sending some of this bad water this way. Eventually, it'll all go this way, I do believe. But what we're going to have to do is, one... Make this trench deeper. We're going to have to do that. And this as well. And I am going to get rid of these ladders just so the beavers don't decide that they want to go for a swim there. There we go. Get rid of that. We'll put in a little bit more dynamite. And then we're going to start working our way around here to divert this flow into here. So let's take, get a couple of levees in there. We'll do that. And then let's do, actually I could do, where would, what does that look like? Yep, let's do that. And then we just need, looks like a two block. There we go. And then we just need one of the big ones there. Yep. And that should divert everything down into this trench once it's put in. And hopefully we don't have any overflow. We'll have to keep an eye out for it. But this trench, even though it's still flowing really fast, doesn't look like it's full enough to have to worry about that. In fact, here's a couple more dynamite. There's a couple more. And it's like now most of it is going this way. So once those two are in, it should all be going this way. We'll check back on that here in just a minute. While they're building that small dam up over there, it looks like the contamination barrier did do its job. So we've got our land back here and we've got more trees coming in, which is what we want to see. While they're finishing that one up, we do need to get one more in here. This one. And there are two ways to take it. We could either go this way or we could go around the other way. But I think we're going to go... Let's see. If I go this way, it's going to ruin a lot of land. This way might ruin some of the land that we're using. I feel like left is the better way to go. Even though it goes in front of these gates... 
Uh, eventually, if we need more water release, we'll put it over here on the corner and we'll remove those. But let's see if we even need that, first of all. So the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to have to put in a couple of gates over here and we'll clear out this area behind it as well. We're also going to need to remove those trees, I think. Eventually, we might need to get in there. So we'll put those in there. And then let's go ahead, put in some more dynamite here. Those can all go down. Those can go down. I'm not going to put those there so they don't accidentally connect those and we get a whole bunch of bad water in here. I think I'm going to also... Let's see if I can remove this. There we go. We're going to make a bit more of a direct path here. Let's see. That one I don't actually need. Let's go here. We'll grab another ladder, come up this way, and then connect this path in. And look, they've already got these two, so we'll blow those two up. Let's get in our triple floodgates. Uh, there it is, triple floodgate. Right there and there. And, oh, they've already got these in, so let's get rid of those. Get rid of all of those. And now once they get these two ladders in here, we'll be able to take out this middle one. Also, I think I'd like to go ahead and take out this. And... Well, I thought they were going to build these ladders, but I guess that's not the case. We'll take out this one too once we get rid of this stack of ladders. They got the dam in over here, and they barely need it, but it's nice that it's there anyway. Looks like everything is connected over here. We take a look under here. Did we get all of the extra? Yeah, we sure did. So all of the toxic water is now flowing out the map this way. Which is good. We just need that one more to go. And we'll have a map that should be completely free of the bad water. They've got the gates in there. It looks like they've already got a couple of the other things. There's our dynamite. Let's take this out. Yep, not going to need that path either. Remove that. Now let's just put one more triple dynamite in here. There we go. That should take care of that. We'll get those two in. And now we can start building around here. Let's take... Put in one of those... And then we'll need to get floodgates here as well. So we'll do, well, hmm. How are we going to do this to make everything nice and even? We're going to have to do something like this and then triple floodgate on top of them. And then we're going to also have to do something like this. And let's get in one levy here. We'll do this. And then that. And it should... It'll temporarily direct bad water over this way. But it'll all just go right back out here until we can start digging that path. Which we might as well do. There's no real thing that's keeping us from digging through there so let's say we'll just come across here uh we'll go around this annoying tree there we go we've got these i would like to come through here which means we're gonna have to get a ladder down in here and take out those trees first before we do that so there we go make sure they can get to it once they do that, we'll say, let's get rid of all of those. These two are in. We're going to detonate those. Gonna detonate that. And now we just need to detonate these last two and then probably build a bridge over there. Which is what we'll do. We'll put that on both sides. Uh, we'll have to get those in before it'll let me put the bridge in, though.
Looks like I might need to get in another ladder here just so they can get down to those. So let's get that in there. There's that. There's the trees gone already. So we can get rid of those. And we'll just take this right across the front here. We'll go through here, right by here. We will definitely have to find a way to get out to those. And then let's go through here. Uh, here, actually, I would like to fill this in just a little bit. Same thing here. Is that holding back any water? It doesn't look like it, is it? Nope. Let's fill that in. We'll fill these in. That should be okay. We'll fill those in. In fact, let's just fill that in as well. And then all we have to do is put in a couple platforms here. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Right across the front. That'll give us access to that. And we'll see if we need a dam across there. We may, we may not. But if we don't, all the better. Please, let's go up this way. Instead of that. That way the trench can come across here, go around the edge here. That's going to have to go in. Got a line of beavers there ready to toss this dynamite down. So, hopefully this doesn't take too long to get in there. There we go. We've got all these have to take out these old ladders that are there. can't remember what I put those in there for, but they should be just fine. Now, over here, I'm going to have to come around. And we're going to have to cut this off right here, which temporarily means I think a lot of those lose some power. So, what we're going to do is make that super important. Get it all the way down to the bottom and then rebuild across there so that they can get their power back and we can still keep going on. In the meantime, though, we'll keep laying down dynamite all the way to over here. We might just remove these. They don't really serve much purpose anymore. In fact, those are probably going to be in the way, so let's take those out of there. I'm going to take all of this out. There we go. Let's put you in there. We'll get the path back. Not sure what's taking them so long on that particular one. But as soon as they do, we will make sure that they can uh, reattach this. It looks like they're out of power, but we should have backup of everything until they at least get that in there they've got a lot of this initial dynamite in so let's go ahead detonate that out that connects that back there which is what we want these are going to come around this way and now we're going to start detonating this out go all the way around the side here looks like we're going to have to find a way out to this one hmm that's going to be fun. Uh, well, we will just do that for now. That should get us through. There are so many ways to do that, but we're going to take the easy way on that one. Detonate those. Looks like a lot of that still needs built in there. Let's detonate some more of these. Just keep going around. Hopefully by the time we get back over there from detonating all of these, they will uh, have all of those done over there. Detonate all of that. Detonate all of that. There we go. That's done. This is done. We'll detonate you out of there. This has to go down again. And too, uh, too far. Is that too far? I do that. Can you do that? Okay, that's fine. We've made that the most important. And then we need to connect this back in over here. So let's go there, 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 and there. 
and then we can put another row down here. All of that is back in. Same thing here. We'll just come on through. That's a two. Grab a two. Twos. Threes. 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 Here's more twos. And twos. There we go. If you're wondering how I know that, the height meter up there is very much coming in handy here. So I'm just keeping an eye on anything that's three or over gets a three. Anything under that gets their appropriate amount. There we go. This probably needs this over here. They don't need a path in the middle of the air. There we go. There we go. There's a two. And another three. Uh, oops, I made that too tall, didn't I? Oh, well, at least we know it won't splash over that way. So to get there, we'll just grab one of those. They can come right up here. Over here. Let's get in our bridges. There's one. There's one. And that should connect everything back in. They should be able to build everything from there as well. Oh, there's that one. There's this. They've already got some of the dynamite. We'll check back in once we've got the trench dug out. They're still working on the trench here. However, they've got this important part out of there. So we're going to go ahead, connect back in. Uh, nope, we just want a one there. There we go. Those two. And we'll say that that is also the highest importance. And then that can be the next highest importance. And hopefully that connects all the power back up. Well, we had a slight spill in here, but I'm not too worried about it. They will eventually wash all of this out of there. Hopefully via this right here. Also, it might wash out some here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take out where the path is directly leading into the bad water. It will probably spread out here, though, eventually. Uh, so I'm hoping that we can still get rid of a lot of this. In fact, once we get closer to the end of the cycle... I might just let everything out and we'll see what we can do. In fact, I might just take down these walls and redo a little bit in here. And since that kind of forced my hand on this, we're going to go ahead and take out this here. So here we need another dynamite here. And I would like at least... One levy here, and we'll put one levy here as well. Not that it's going to make that big of a difference, but we're going to do it anyway. And we'll say... Well, they're still working on this over here, so we'll let them work on things for a minute. We're having bots walk around the edge again as well, so... We're just going to put in this one suspension bridge here. Get that in, and that should let them get back over here. However, I hope they can fin fix this up before we go completely out of resources. Way over here on this opposite side of the map, they've been working hard to get all of this cleared out. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to move the main dam over here. And that should help us catch more good water during the season and i'm also going to toss down a gauge over here there we go we're going to put it you know what let's put it right there and we'll link these back to these right here so that whenever this is low these will turn on and actually flush water out and around here 
hopefully keeping the water in here uh, a little, little cleaner and at the right height. We'll have to keep an eye on it though, so it doesn't overdo it. The trench is completed. It's a little high here. We could probably come down and around and put something in here. But until we really have a reason to, I'm not going to worry about it. I have a feeling that this will slowly lower itself out. In fact, it looks like I missed a couple right here. So that should help. But otherwise, everything is flowing right down here into the trench without any problems whatsoever. And it's going out the map with no problems. So we can actually come in here and fill in a little bit of this stuff. We'll put some of the land right back here. We'll do the same thing over here. Not that we need the land in this area particularly, but I think it will be just a tad nicer that way. Let's go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of this. We should probably do these more than one at a time. There we go. We'll get rid of all of that, all of those there. And don't need any of those anymore either, so those can all go. There we go. I don't plan on anybody coming back down that way. And that should work just fine. Now we just have to wait until the next temperate weather and we'll check out how we've done so far. I'm going to go ahead and turn these on and hopefully that flushes out some of the bad water that's here. Now that there shouldn't be any more bad water going into this area, we'll get started on getting rid of that, and then we'll see if we can empty it out of here as well. I think I'm going to let out some of this water as well. In fact, we're just going to do this right here. And I'm hoping a lot more of it goes out than comes in. We might be a tad dry for a couple of days, but that will eventually help us get rid of some of this toxic water that's in here. And it will give us a chance to put in a larger floodgate up here. See if we can toss in. Is this a four? Nope. What about a five? Five looks to be the right height. So we'll put in two fives as backups for in case this gets too full or fills up too fast. Other than a connection to the outside, this dam doesn't really seem necessary anymore since we have this one. So what I'm going to do, we're going to switch this one out. Just remove those. Remove that one. And we'll get in a couple bridges here. There's one there. We'll trim that back. And... There we go. Now we just connect in the path here. It's one or two steps longer, but it adds a bridge, so I'm fine with that. We seem to have been able to flush out most of the bad tide around the map. Everything is going much better now. We still have a couple of pockets here, including this large one here. So to get rid of that, which should be the last of this, I'm just going to remove this. Let me draw path in over here, and then we will just put in a uh, floodgate here, just in case we ever need to remove more. Something goes wrong with the gates or something. And then we can just dump some of that into here. Oh, that guy's already got it. So let's go ahead and put that floodgate back so that we can control it. And we should be good to go there. All of this has been cleaned. And this will eventually be cleaned by the water. Hopefully rushing out and into there. So I think we're good to go there. We are slowly filling on our reservoir. This is working. I will connect these to 
our our uh, water thing here so that we keep a constant height in this and we don't lose all of our water down the stream when we don't need to. But I think for the most part, that should do it. Our map should be mostly green. We've still got this corner to take a look at. Plus, we've got a lot of stuff on the outside to look at. We'll figure out what we want to do with that. But I think that's going to be next time. So definitely check back in for that. Um, but for now, just want to say thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.